Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We're gonna talk about this team of the group stage market crash that came over the past 24 to 36 hours in FIFA 21 Ultimate Team. You guys know the drill. The prices are going crazy low. Everything's getting crazy panic sold. There was a bounce back Saturday in the mid of the day, and now stuff is kind of creeping back downwards again as we head into Sunday. So I wanna talk about that, possibly where we see prices headed again, why we saw the bounce back that we did and kind of talk about a example in the past that happened as well. I knew the bounce back would come. I knew that bounce back was coming. That's, we talked about it on the live stream as well. There's always a point where the panic selling stops and then there's a rebound because everything panic sells, panic sells and people realize, hey, this has gotten too cheap and then they start buying back, stuff starts to rebound up and we did see that on Saturday. So I wanna show you guys examples of that and kind of talk through that and then also, we're watching prices kind of get back down, not not exactly where they were, but sort of close to where they were early on Saturday when we saw Neymar at like 770, we saw Mbappe at 115, Rashford was like 170K. So we're gonna look at a few of those cards tonight as well and talk about some buys that I think we can make just because this market is so low. Obviously there's a lot of content that is out right now and also talk about more content that could come today on Sunday. I think I think they're gonna upgrade or they're gonna release upgrade packs during team of the group stage i think they're either going to do it today on sunday or tomorrow on monday um but i think they're going to do some sort of repeatable upgrade pack they did that a lot last year in all of these promos i feel like they're going to do it this year too they already did it last week during uh record breakers during black friday uh, i don't know if we had upgrade packs during rule breakers i'm not sure i don't remember back that far um, but I think we're going to get those soon. And that's just, um, that's just more stuff that's going to try to take coins off this market. EA is doing an incredible job of putting out SBCs that are taking coins off the market, especially with these three guys right here. I think a lot of people are doing Lucas Mora, Brazilian, Prem, nice dynamic image, solid looking card, overpriced, yes. But then you have a lot of people doing draw Felix. And then of course, Oxlade Chamberlain with this card here today, this is a pretty solid card. Now I know it's like, high star or uh, four star work rates four star weak foot four star skills high high work rates and that's a pretty cracked out card as a center mid box to box uh, but it's coming in at about the same cost as joao felix but i think there's a lot of people that are going to complete that SBC as well. So a lot of just good, you know, a lot of enticing SBCs are out at the moment, which is making people lose coins because all those coins that came on the market at Black Friday or even this weekend from Team The Group Stage, that's kind of also causing this market to crash a lot. Now, last night, I just want to cover this really fast too, from Friday night into Saturday, I took an L on the Sancho, man. I literally sold the Sancho at like the worst time possible. Sancho went from 200 to 240. Now he's back down in the 220s, but I did make a w and i kind of kind of offset this loss with these profits right here i bought all these hollands for like 303 to 305 sold them for 327 he was like one of the only cards that rebounded overnight uh so that was kind of a w and then the rest of my dumfries sold at 30k which he's probably about extinct now uh and then early on saturday morning as well i bought these alex the shares at 220 and he rebounded at 237 240 pretty quick got out of those as a nice flip as the market was rebounding a little bit after the panic selling so let's again talk about what happened yesterday on saturday let's go again to Prospect number one, Mr. Neymar. He's 800,000 coins, 665 on the Xbox. And I know that some of this stuff didn't happen on the Xbox. And like the Xbox market is still just, just at the same very, very low point. That's why I'm, this is still a market crash, right? This is still 100% a market crash because Friday morning, Neymar was 962 on the PlayStation, 780 on the Xbox. He's down over 100K on the Xbox and he's down almost 200K on the PlayStation. So again, what we saw early in the morning on Saturday on PlayStation was, I guess it was midday for you guys in the UK. Uh, Neymar went all the way down from 900K to 770, rebounded back to 870 and is now kind of sitting around that, you know, 820 range, kind of dipping back now under 800K. This is still 100% a market crash and still the same reasons that I listed yesterday. Just the amount of golds that are supplied to the market, a lot of SBCs that have come out right now that are taking coins off of the market in the past couple of weeks. Uh, and honestly, I think maybe like the next gen gameplay and people being disappointed with the gameplay is maybe making people kind of forget FIFA for a bit too. I just feel like some of the hype has maybe left. Uh, and then of course, also with these team of the group stage cards being, being very cheap, 
that is also not helping these cards prices drop but I think today, a lot of these card prices are probably going to stay the same, maybe trickle a little bit downwards in the early part of the day on Sunday. And then if we do not get any content today on Sunday, or if it's very not so good content, I think in the after squad bad rewards, Sunday evening time after the content drop, I do think you will see this stuff start to rebound back up because what we see on almost all Sunday nights into Mondays, Tuesday, Wednesdays is a low time on Sunday, Monday, and then a rebound into the week because people know and they start buying stuff because uh, people want to have their teams before Thursday because they've been educated and they know well enough that this stuff is cheap. Now, Varan 222 is really low. I don't even know if he got this low this morning. Yeah, he did. Never mind. He went to 218 and then rebounded to 232 and is now back down to 224. So we are seeing some of these prices reach almost the lows that they were on Saturday morning right now, which is very interesting. And Bappe went down to 116, 115. He went back to 125. Now he's back at 116. So a lot of these cards are kind of dropping back down to where they were. The golds are getting hammered the most. If we look at a lot of these, it's mostly gold cards. But some of the out of packs informs are as well. Of course, Sancho, Vardy is 557. He was like 520 earlier today. And Bappe, record breaker, is down a bunch. BVD is down a bunch. Fabregas is down. Um, if you do want to pick up some cards that are really, really low risk, really, really low risk, check out these Road to the Finals. If there's any panic selling on these guys today, Sissoko, 950. He's getting an upgrade. It's guaranteed. Um, watch some of the guys that are getting guaranteed upgrades. This next week is upgrade week for Road to the Finals that are getting on, moving to the next round of the competition. I was This Griezmann card uh, this morning was like 560. Klosterman's 330. That's pretty low. Of course, he's not guaranteed to move on and move through. Watch Salah. He's 143. He was in the 15s. Just keep an eye on some of these cards. Uh, Zakaria, 220. He was obviously down in the 210 range. Keep an eye on these road to the finals today. If there's any panic selling, that's a huge buy in my opinion because those guys are going to be right back in the limelight, back in the hype zone in the first couple days of this week because of Champions League going on. Also, keep an eye on the very rare cards in the market. That was yes these rule breakers in the panic selling this morning, these guys are getting panic sold as well. That's why I was picking up those to shares at 220. Quadrado this morning was 215. He rebounded back to 240 where he currently is chilling now. He's actually like 250 if you check out the listings there. 205, I mean, a lot of this stuff, again, didn't really rebound that much on the Xbox. And that is just a testament to where, no offense if you're on the Xbox, but that's kind of just a testament to where the Xbox market has been going and headed in the past couple of years. It's just not as big of a player base. So when you see a lot of the panic selling happen on the PlayStation, uh, a lot of times that doesn't follow through to the Xbox sometimes. The the actual, the fluctuations, right? The, the incredible buybacks don't happen as much on the Xbox. Now this Laporte at 520, I'm getting interested. That's really cheap. Laporte at 520 is really, really cheap. There's probably a point where that card today on Sunday hits like 550 or 560 again. I don't know why this guy's 520. That's really, really low. So I'm going to take a look at this really fast because that might be a flipping opportunity. And just like that, I don't know why he's being listed at 551 and PS and uh, Flippin says 521. Um, but I'm going to keep an eye on this because this is a little Flippin glitch at the moment. This is a very rare card. This, this is, uh, if you guys are trading on PlayStation or Xbox, this guy fluctuates a ton. So keep an eye on cards like this today. They will be very flippable. Watch icons as well, because a lot of the icons are down. If we take a look at the index icon really quick, let me take a look at some of these cards that are down specifically, but they didn't really rebound today. Uh, we can take a look at this index as well. A lot of these cards, look, 98 points on the index, the big market drop off into the day on Saturday, the index went down to 94, it rebounded to 95.4, and then now is back down in the 94 range. So. If there's an icon that you have, wow, Vidic is under 500K again. Goodness gracious, that's low. Nemanja Vidic is 500K, under 500K. That's pretty crazy. Pretty crazy for that card. So just keep an eye on these cards as well because they will bounce back a little bit. They're rare, of course. They're icons. You know the drill with that. The only thing that I would say could be a little bit sketchy today would just be those gold cards, man. I still think some of the gold cards will rise from um, Sunday night into the week, but I'm gonna focus on the out of pack stuff and maybe some of the team of the group stages, right? We could take a look at these cards for a second. Some of these cards were, went crazy low today as well. Diego Carlos, and I don't know if I'm interested enough to try to like flip these overnight, uh, but Diego Carlos was 200 and, 
He was 234 this morning, man. He was 234. He rebounded to 270. Right now he's 247. I just don't know how much hype there is. Uh, Messi is down under a mil. Uh, Sterling was just in under 200K. I believe he is now right over 200,000 coins for Raheem the Dream. Yeah, he's 200, 203. So some of these guys might rebound a little bit into Sunday, but I'm not expecting it too much. I just feel like people have this mantra like, yo, I'm scared to buy any cards on this game right now because everything has dropped so much. Kevin De Bruyne is 540,000 coins after being 600K this morning. That's crazy. That's wild. Teo Hernandez, who I thought was going to be a great overnight flip, is definitely not looking good. He's 240. Uh, Erling brought Holland. How much are you? Is he 290? Flippin says 290. He's actually got a decent amount of supply, so I don't think I'm going to be flipping this card tonight. 287. Well, I'll keep an eye on this, but I probably don't see myself flipping any of these Champions League cards just because I feel like nobody wants to wake up and buy on a Sunday morning after they've already lost so many coins because people are disappointed. They're deflated. They're not feeling good about this game at the moment, at least on the early morning on Sunday. I don't think you'll see a big like bounce back. Just look for stuff that is low in the panic selling. If you want to make a buy for your team or two, like be be my guest. Go ahead, make a buy for your team uh, or two, something like that. Possibility um, for a rule breakers and out of packs inform. Just kind of look through some graphs, right? Your best tool is Footbin. Going through here and doing some of the research and seeing where some of these cards went today, when cards went low, which cards rebounded. And just kind of doing some of your own research in that matter and, and realizing, hey, okay, this card rebounded today. Why did it rebound? Oh, you know what? It's got a lot of games played. There's not a lot of cards in that position for that league. That means it's a rare player. And that just brings more hype to the card, right? Lukaku is 279. What did he do? He went from 290 down to 230 or 250. Sorry, not 230. That's the Xbox price. 250 back up to 296. Now back down to 279. So if I saw this again at like 250 or 260, I might get interested again just because I feel like a lot of these cards, the market still has coins, uh, I think. Just people are a little bit more scared to buy. So I think there's a possibility that we have a market bounce back kind of starting Sunday night into the week, just as people know it. Unless we get some big time crazy SBCs today, like another icon repeatable, that would be something that I guess maybe would be a little bit scared of. Um, but that's, I don't think that's like super high on the pop probabilities of happening today. So one other thing I do want to say is watch out for La Liga links because so many people are doing this Joao Felix card. I know this Llorente is expensive. He's up in price a lot already. Same thing with the gold team of the week item. This team of the week Llorente is up a lot in price. I think he's like 200 K. Um, he was like 180 this week and now he's up to 200. Watch the panic selling on this card because people are doing Joao Felix like crazy. So watch even some of the Portuguese icons. Some of those, you know, meta cards might link up well with Joao Felix. Keep an eye on those because those might rebound a bit this week and especially some of these cards. Just kind of think about how people are making teams right now. French as well. I, I mean, you know, I'm kind of sketched out with the gold cards, but still Paul Pugba to me, Paul Pugba to me, man, is kind of interesting. He is right now, I think he's 100 and, wow, he's 130. Watch this card today, right? Watch the panic selling on a guy like Pugba. If he's like in the 120s, uh, I don't know how low he went earlier today on Saturday. He's 125 at the moment. But this is a card that I think a lot of people would link up to with all the French links. Yeah, Pugba went to 125. He rebounded to 135 and is now back down. So if this card dips in like the low 120s on PlayStation or if it goes under 100K on Xbox, I get very interested in this because it's a very popular card, not just for, you know, like people that are really into FIFA, but also like the casuals, right? They like to use Pugba, Man U won today. So maybe there's some more hype there for uh, Manchester United fans to use a guy like Paul Pugba. Uh, so just kind of keep that in mind. Of course, Bruno Player of the Month may be coming out soon as well. Um, that wouldn't be for probably another week or so, I think, like next Friday. But just keep an eye on French cards, Brazilian cards, and um, links to that Joao Felix because that is where a lot of people are building teams right now in this game. I don't feel like a ton of people are doing the new Oxlade Chamberlain SBC that came out today. You know, maybe some people are doing Lucas. I wish I knew the numbers and I wish I could see how many people are completing all of these SBCs. But uh, I don't feel like as many people are doing Chamberlain at the same price that you can do Joao Felix because he's an attacker. Five star skills, four star weak foot. This draw I feel looks cracked, and a ton of people are doing that SBC. So 
those are my opinions on the market right now, boys. It's a big time market crash. Uh, does it keep dropping over the next couple of weeks? I think there's a possibility that over the next two or three weeks, yes, stuff can possibly drop off a little bit more with Footmas coming, with more promos coming, possibly Team of the Year nominees. It would make sense, but in the short term, I do feel like this week, well, we'll see a little bit of a market bounce back unless EA release some crazy content. So there's always kind of the if out there because EA can influence this market however and whenever they want with their content. But crazy market crash, man. Crazy market crash. It reminds me of the pre-team of the season panic that happened um, in FIFA 20, right? Right before team of the season so far, you know, we were not knowing if we were going to actually get team of the season everybody panic sold and there was that one saturday morning just like it happened today with these all the panic selling with the rebound like these these bounce backs on the graphs that you see uh we saw this exact sort of thing happen earlier this year in 2020 with with fifa 20 right before team of the season it was this huge sell-off big time sell-off and then cards got so low even lower than this but then they bounced right back after that and a lot of people point fingers at ea and they say yo ea is putting cards on the market we're never going to be able to prove that, right? We are never going to be able to prove that. And to say that EA was absolutely manipulating the market in some way, shape, or form, we can only kind of go on our best knowledge and what we see happening and maybe tie some, um, you know, make a statement based on that. But we're never going to actually know for sure. So I just don't like pointing the finger in that direction just because we can't actually, we won't actually know if that's true or not unless they tell us or it's until we get some sort of confirmation or facts. But that is kind of the, you know, time and time frame that I was referring to that this kind of market crash that we've seen over the past two days is very similar to. So I don't know if you guys remember that at all, but it was kind of crazy with all the panic selling and the bounce back. That's why I was saying last night with this amount of panic selling, uh, we were looking at that Joao Felix and I tweeted about that today specifically. I said with this amount of panic selling, I know for a fact that there is going to be a bounce back. It's all just about when timing is key with this stuff so uh big learning day honestly at the very least if you didn't make any coins and you lost some coins it's a big time learning day when you just you were able to witness something on the market you're going to take this take this information take it forward with you you're going to learn from it right it's going to make you a better manager of your ultimate team club make easier coins because of the knowledge that you learned today and that's what we're all about here on the channel so hopefully that guys help me hopefully Man, I can't speak today, dude. Hopefully that helped you out. If it did, smash the thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions. Or subscribe to the channel if you're new. All right, it's my native account. Catch you guys later. Peace.